morning. You are joining a new show called The Sutras. My best friend, Naz Perez, is going on a blind date with a man right now. He will be calling in live. And um, we're going to witness all of us here together. Their first conversation is going to last 15 minutes. I'm going to count her down. I'm just going to be here kind of reacting in the background. I'm not going to take any part in their date, their 15-minute date. And, um, yeah, my sister Lauren found this guy. And it'll be fun. Let's get Naz on the line before the guy calls her. It looks like my dad. All right, here's Naz. She's ready for her second date, two nights in a row. You're going to meet Mr. Mystery Suitor number two tonight. Do you have any expectations? He should be dialing you in about two minutes. I have no expectations. Am I supposed to be putting makeup makeup on for this? I'm also wearing the same shirt as yesterday. Me too. <laughs> Has anybody... <laughs> Ashley, you, you started this live. You're like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I like... It's like, I, I'm like kind of excited, but I dread this every day now. Well, you might dread it every day because you're going to do three of these. So let's explain to the audience in the next 60 seconds before the guy calls, you're going to be doing three of these dates every week, 15 oh minutes God. each with different guys. And then you will be picking a favorite each week. And at the end of four weeks... You'll be choose. You'll be talking to each of your favorites again, and then from there you'll decide who you want to meet in real life after the quarantine is over. Boom! My echo is bad. I'm gonna stop Love talking. Love after quarantine. <laughs> Love after quarantine. Oh my god, this is so crazy. I'm Hi, I'm sorry. I left. I'm here back. Oh, okay. I feel like because Lauren picked him, he's going to be like a musician or something. No. Oh, he's not. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? Not too bad. Uh, just trying to make the most out of this Saturday quarantine. <laughs> Well, I would say um, going on a blind date in front of a bunch of people is definitely making the best use of your time. Absolutely. <laughs> the best way to shake it up. Think of anything better. Um, what would you normally be doing if uh, we were in quarantine on a Saturday? That's actually a really good question. Um, what would I normally be doing? I'd probably like, I don't know, either like go on a hike or do a workout class and then get shit done and then probably stay in or like get dinner with like a friend. I don't really like go out and sit. what would you be doing? Pretty much exactly the same. I, I like to get my workout or whatever done in the morning. Uh, and then night times usually just maybe a few friends either ordering food in or maybe go out to get something but usually low key I don't really go out too much anymore. Yeah. What I'm how are you? Occasions. Yeah, I feel that. How are you doing during like quarantine? Are you like one of those people? that's like getting a shit ton of stuff done or are you more just like relaxing? It really depends what time of the day. Um, I feel like I do a bunch of stuff real early and then it hits like one o'clock and I'm like, well now what the rest of the day? And yeah. I'm doing a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> yeah. I feel um, but yeah, I'm trying to like pick up some new hobbies, just be more productive on some of the stuff I fell behind on. Uh, but some of that serious stuff is already out of the way. So trying to see how much longer we could last without doing anything outside of our places. Yeah. What are your hobbies? Um, so I like to write, so I'm trying to write a little bit more. Um, I love that's that. just mostly like sketch type stuff. Uh, I did UCB for a little bit. Oh, nice. Um, so yeah, I do improv. I haven't done that in a long time, but I'm also acting. So uh, I do like a scene study class, but outside of that, I'm um, a personal trainer, so I do spend a lot of time at the gym, either uh, with clients or by myself, always looking for new ways to uh, get workouts done, getting really creative nowadays. Yeah, I, ha I actually have a trainer, and she's like training me over like Skype now. It's like so funny. What do you think about those sessions? I've done a few virtual sessions, and it's just like, it's you can get the job done, but it's just like, there's something missing. Yeah, I mean, like, I have the bands and stuff, but I don't feel like my form's, like, the best. But, yeah, I mean, I, I think it gets the job done for now, at least. 
That's good. Yeah. Uh, good to stay active. It's definitely takes you out of your mind a little bit, especially during these times. Yeah. Have you ever done anything illegal? Huh. Um, yes. You have? <laughs> I think everyone has. I drank before I turned 21. Does that count? Okay, okay. Aside from, like, drinking before you're 21. I'm just asking because I don't know if my friends are doing background checks. Oh, my God. <laughs> now I'm really starting to dig. Um, no. I can't say other than that that I've done anything like that stands out that's illegal. Okay. Um, maybe I filled up a water cup at Chipotle with lemonade, but who hasn't? <laughs> yeah, I'm always cheating the system at Taco Bell because I don't like Pepsi. Okay. <laughs> Do they only have Pepsi? I, would, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's like the it's like my one tripe about Taco Bell. I think it's like a delicacy aside from the fact that they serve Pepsi. Wow, learn something new every day. Yeah. <laughs> so where are you from initially um okay so i was born in texas in houston but i don't really identify because um i only lived there for a little bit but i was actually raised in south florida like boca okay. raton yeah gotcha and how long have you been in la now la like eight years i think wow. yeah so do you consider it home or do you still feel like you'll go back to florida you know what's weird? I've, LA's so big, and I worked on this show for a couple of years where I traveled a lot. So I feel like for those two years, I didn't see a lot of LA. But I feel like it's so big that you don't, you won't really like see all of it ever. So I still yeah. feel like new to the city. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah, totally. I mean, I haven't. I've only been here two years, but oh, nice. Um, to some people, that sounds like a lot of time, and I'm like, I feel like I just got here. It just like kind of flew. I tried, I tried to see a lot of it when I first got here, and when people visit, they all want to see certain things, so that allows me to. But other than that, I'm like, I still got a lot to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. Like, two years is so new. Wait, so where are you from originally? Oh, I, am I allowed to ask that? Uh, okay, where are you from originally? <laughs> <laughs> I'm originally from New Jersey. I do still oh, identify nice. as being from New Jersey, but I did move around a lot. Um, am I allowed to tell you, like, all the places I moved around? To yeah, was, yeah. Okay, so I went to a boarding school uh, at 16, so I left uh, to go to Connecticut. wasn't too far from home. Um, Did you go I to a boarding to... school because you were, like, a bad boy? Everyone asks that. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I maybe? Was... No, I'm just kidding. I went to go play hockey um, at boarding school. But, yeah, everyone always thinks that when you get sent away to boarding school, you, like, did something wrong. Um, but just for sports. Um, okay. So, so I – Went to Connecticut. I was there for three years. Then I went to Vermont for a year for college. Decided to transfer. This was all still for uh, for sports. The NCAA made me sit out a year, so I went to Vancouver. Oh, wow. Vancouver for all for years. hockey? All for hockey. Oh, yeah. wow. So, um, Connecticut, Vermont, Vancouver. Then I went to uh, Boston for my final three years of college. Played there. And then I didn't know if I was going to keep playing or not, but I ended up with two short stints in the minors. So I was in uh, Virginia and then Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, oh, my God. You've lived in, like, the most interesting pockets of, like, the states, I feel like. Vermont and, like, Tulsa. <laughs> yeah, Tulsa. I wasn't there too long, but um, that may have been the most interesting place just in terms of, like, different. Really? Unexpected. Why? Tell me about Tulsa. There isn't that much I could tell you because I didn't, I wasn't there long. It was just oh, like, we're from, you know, bigger cities and right. right outside New York and now LA. There it's just like, they only really know Tulsa, Oklahoma. So it's just a very, like right out of a TV show type um, extra, extra terrestrial world. Damn. Um, without much going on, but. Maybe I'm speaking too poorly of it. I wasn't there that long, but yeah. definitely the most obscure. Yeah. So what are you doing now? Are you still playing sports? Uh, just for fun now. Um, so I'll still play hockey every once in a while. I love playing basketball. Um, but no, nothing serious anymore. Just for fun. What about you? Did you play any sports growing up, or do you play anything for fun now? I Okay, so my parents, like, I was just so mediocre at everything. Like, they put me in sports every year, like, intramurals and stuff. I was never, like, the worst player, but I definitely was never, like, starting or the best. But they never kept me in anything. Like, I wish they would have kept me in one thing, so I would have been, like, really good at one thing. 
Um, so I'm just kind of mediocre at everything. But recently, I did start playing tennis this year. Um, just because I feel like tennis is a good sport for like when I get old. <laughs> yeah. so, like, have someone to play with. It's so funny. I've been saying for a while now that I want to pick up tennis again, and every time I tell someone, they're like, "Oh, that's a great, a great sport to pick up for when you get old." And I'm like, "I wasn't even thinking about that. I just want to play tennis for fun." Yeah, no, it's so much fun. It's actually really hard, and I just realized that I, I like work so much, and I didn't really have hobbies. So I was like, "2020, I'm gonna." I'm going to pick up tennis, but now, you know, obviously 2020 had other plans, I guess. Yeah, nobody's plans worked out. <laughs> um, but hopefully back to normal soon. What were you uh, working so hard on? What do you mean? Like just with work? You were working so hard, yeah, like a specific project, or what do you do? Yeah, so I, um, I work, like, in the entertainment industry. Um, so I'm, like, a producer, TV host. I have, like, a podcast, you know, all the, all the L.A. stuff that makes you want to throw up. Um, no, oh, well, it. you're an actor, so you kind of get it. I, yeah. But, <laughs> um, yeah, so between that and then I have, like, this passion project that I run. Um, so I'm sort of, like, always busy between, like, different, like, hosting jobs and my project. Okay, cool. And mm -hmm. you said it allows you to travel a lot, too? Well, the show I worked on a couple years ago, I traveled a lot, but I'm no longer working on that show. Gotcha. Uh, with all the work, and do you get to travel for personal reasons, just any vacations or anything cool? I do get to travel sometimes for work, which I love, because I love traveling. Um, this year, I was, like, I went to London for work most recently in, like, uh -huh. end of January, yeah. Do you travel a lot? Uh, not as much as I would like, honestly. Uh, I've been to a lot of places, but that was mostly for hockey or school. Yeah. Um, I've been to Europe one time. It was Northern Ireland. I didn't get to see that much. I was only there for a short time, but that's definitely next on the list is to try to get to Europe. But I don't think that's looking like it'll happen anytime soon. I know. It's wild. It's so wild. Yeah. Um, can you tell me the three most interesting things about you? Um, okay. Wow. Three. That's Just because I only get 15 minutes, so I'm trying, okay. To, okay. I'm trying to, you know, get the most out of it. <laughs> okay. So... Um, something that people find very interesting about me when I tell them that I am uh, an actor and a personal trainer is that I have a finance degree and my real estate license in New York. Um, so I kind of just went a different route and that always kind of surprises people. Um, let's see, I played 20 years of hockey and didn't break a bone. Whoa, that's crazy. I'm, I'm shocked that you thought that was crazier than the first one, but... <laughs> I actually feel like a lot of people, like, you know, have a background in sort of real estate or finance and then decide that they want to, like, move out west and just act. No? Yeah. I, I actually have found, like, a bunch of people who did similar things, and it's cool because when you go back home, uh, kind of get the sense that people thought maybe, like, something was wrong. But then you get here and you realize there's a whole lot of people who kind of feel the same way. They're not happy with a business job or a desk job. And, and they always kind of wanted to do something more. And you just get to this point where you say, okay, I can stay unhappy or I could go try to do what I want. Right. So um, true. Yeah. Huge, huge group of people who, who came to LA for that. So it's pretty cool. Um, um, all right. And then what's the third thing? I was really trying to avoid. <laughs> I can tell. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, is this mean? Am I putting you through the ringer? No, okay. no, this is fun. Um, so I didn't mention the other hobby that I'm trying to pick back up again is that I like to draw cartoons. So, oh my God, I love that. Yeah, I, I'll get into it for a little bit and then other stuff piles up and it gets put on the back burner. But one of the first things I did when we went into quarantine is I got out the sketch pad and I've got like a, kind of a textbook for, for drawing cartoons and I'm just starting to practice doing that again. Wait, I'm obsessed with that. I love animation. Like, I love cartoons oh, wow. so well, much. Do you, have a, do you have a favorite animated show? Right? I, I don't know if I could pick a favorite, but if this Honestly. gives you any insight into who I am, I, like, um, Amazon made, like, PBS, like, free for a week. <laughs> <laughs> so I watched Arthur for, like, almost half a day. Oh, we're going, like, back to the building. Yeah, yeah, like, I was a PBS kid, but SpongeBob, I think would probably have to be like the number one, I think like most genius, well thought out, 
like over I think SpongeBob over Rick and Morty and like a lot of other ones. Okay. Yeah. Wow. SpongeBob? Yeah. It does stand the test of time. I still quote SpongeBob in everyday conversation. Yeah, just like a sponge that lives in a pineapple, you know, like under the sea. I just I haven't nothing has blown me away like that has. What's your favorite animated show? And Bob's burgers, I would say probably too. Gotcha. Favorite? I grew up watching probably too much South Park. So that was like one of my favorites growing up, but it's kind of dwindled away. And right now I love Big Mouth mm. and um, Rick and Morty. It's both of those I think are just some of the best writing um, I've ever seen. Yeah, and the Szechuan sauce was just iconic. Oh man. So funny. Yes. I love it. Yeah, so <laughs> those are three super interesting things about me. And I see that you purposely left us with one minute. <laughs> Yeah, wait, I have one more one, one interesting thing. I have one more question. Oh, okay. What would be like your dream role since you're an actor? Hmm. So I love like my favorite actor is probably Jake Gyllenhaal, but I don't really Ooh. see myself doing any of his roles. I just love watching. Um Yeah, Jake does a lot of good indie stuff. Yeah, he's just he just covers everything and he I don't know, I I can't like I'm mesmerized when he acts, but uh, for me, dream role, probably like Leonardo DiCaprio in Wolf of Wall Street. Okay, <laughs> Jordan Belfort. That's like <laughs> in a bowl, probably. Is it because you identify with that sort of like douchiness or is it because <laughs> you're such a nice guy that you it would be so fun to play like such a dick like that? I think more of the second one, definitely, but I just think it would be so fun in general, whether like nice or douchey. I just think that he's just having so much fun. You get to play such a zany, like real life person. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's that would be the coolest role for me. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I'd want to play someone really mean too, like yeah. like Uma Thurman and like Kill Bill or like Regina George or something. Um, All right, yeah, well, girl, my time, girl, your time is up. <laughs> Um, All right, our, thank you very much for being on The Sutris. And mystery guest, yes. everyone, we're going to let you go now. Thank you so much. All right, thank you guys so much. Nice to meet you, Nessie. Bye, Bye, nice meeting you. <laughs> this is so crazy. Nas, people are really enjoying it. We're getting the most positive comments on here. Actually, this is so mortifying. This is like, you would not like this. You wouldn't do this. I, you know what, you are Would you do this? You're braver than me, and you are definitely more extroverted and more talkative and just, like, wittier than me. That's not true. You can handle this better than I could. This is very, this is very nerve-wracking. Um, yeah. All right. Well, Naz, I think you're killing it. I think this guy seemed a little bit more nervous than yesterday's guy. You think? Yeah. I don't know. I, yeah, I get, like, a very East Coast vibe, and I think... Yeah, like he seemed really chill. I wasn't like grossed out by anything he said. I thought he was like equally as sweet as the guy from yesterday. But yeah, I guess I guess you're right. Maybe a little more nervous. I don't know. Am I, echo, I am more nervous? My echo is bad. Oh. But I want to know real quick if you had to choose one or the other for a second date. Who would it be? Can I think about it? Yeah, sure. I think we'll I be back tomorrow with the sutras. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see you guys then. You and then tomorrow, are... before I go on the third date, I'll explain who who's top in my head. I want to okay. like think about this. It happened so quick, you know. And I'll figure out my echo issue. But I do, I do feel like the first guy immediately. I was like, oh, we have so much in common. But I don't know. We'll see. All right. What do we'll you guys think? <laughs> They'll let us know in the comments, and you guys can watch the first episode if you missed it on my YouTube, Jared's my YouTube channel. Or don't. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Love you, Ash. Bye, love everyone. You. Thanks Thank for watching. You.